And this is Prachap Kiri Khan, a genuine town here in Thailand. And uh, a legend on these parts, Eric, Eric the Viking, is going to show me the city in the next few days. And uh, that's what this video is all about. So let's get to know this city and the area surrounding the city a little bit better. It's a genuine place here in Thailand with not so many tourists. And here we have Eric. He's going to show me Thailand. A lot of smuggling going on. And in the past, I think you went over there, right? You went over when you were younger. You went over and crossed into Burma a couple of times. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. That's cool. You have to pay away, you know. When you yeah. Get had to pay some money to the to bribe some officers over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Corruption is uh, widely accepted here. Yeah. And you need to take advantage of that. Yeah. Of yeah. yeah. That's, that's a game they play. Yeah. You can't get further than this. And just behind there we got uh, Myanmar, Burma. He's in a hurry to go to his country of Burma. Because this is actually a huge flower. It's not a tree. This is a flower. Well, it grows up to become the size of a tree here in Thailand. Yeah. Flowers if that I'm become the size. Mistaken, it's uh, Kasarina, as I told you. Yeah. And over here. Field is Saparot. Pineapple. Pineapple field. Oh wow! Yeah, it's how many rye? I have no idea. It's huge. And do we have to be careful about walking out there? Snakes, right? Absolutely. And you have to trample to yeah. uh, get the snakes away. Yeah. So now we're going up to the stone park. There's a monk up here, and I actually met him a couple of years ago. I'm interested to see if he's still when up you there. Go up to the stone park, please don't get stoned, okay? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go up. And uh, here we have some dogs, and uh, me and Eric have been attacked by dogs today on several locations. So we're a little bit concerned. That's why I have this stick here. And here we have two dogs, and uh, I don't trust dogs here, but they seem quite calm. Maybe he noticed the stick, and uh, you need to show absolutely no fear when you're among animals like this. And Eric is finding himself a stick as well to protect himself against these wild beasts. So these trees are from Australia. Yeah. Eric knows everything there is to know about Thailand. Believe me, he's been here for. Yeah. To get light. Yeah. And uh, notice some dogs, Eric. Oh. A good thing we have a stick here to protect ourselves. Oh, yeah, they can have rabies. Uh, yeah. Eric is not afraid of the dogs, but he's pissed off yeah. when he uh, encounters these wild beasts. He just wants to get rid of them. Because they can be quite dangerous. And up here we have the, the monk. I should be quiet, he's trying to sleep perhaps. Here he is, the same guy. And here's the cave where he lives. Lived here for like four years or something like that. It's a big rock there. Yeah, look at the size of these rocks. 
special place, a holy place. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you make some sounds. We go for the summit. Maybe it's a good view from up there. Wow. This weird place with the huge stones. And the monk sure likes it. He's uh, lived here his entire adult life. Protected the place. Oh, I'm push it down for you. Ah. Eric the Viking, he has power. Really hard to move. Strong man. huge and uh, very few tourists come to this part of Thailand Eric very, very few so you can still uh, discover the real Thailand here perhaps it's a real Thai city Prashap Khan, close by not a tourist destination like some other places uh, that was my uh, stick, Eric. I need my stick. Yeah, it's my stick, Eric. It's a backpack there. Maybe it belongs to a missing hiker in the in the jungle here. Probably been there for a couple of years. Maybe find a body in close by. Dead body or just snakes? I should be careful. Oh, I don't want to go inside that much. Uh, this here is a fishing village just outside uh, Prachap Kirikan. A very colorful place. And uh, Eric is just behind me, he's on, uh, on his motorbike. Prefers to use it and not walk too much. Eric is a legend on these parts and everybody knows who he is. I'm happy to see him. This temple has been raised in the peak, Maisak, as very, the Thai people say. Very expensive. Huh? And uh, the dragons, they call the Thai people, called Payana, and they protect the temple. Yeah. I, I don't know why, I mean, mm, who this temple was raised for, but uh, it's very special, one of the few in Thailand. Yeah. And you see the, the, the style, very narrow and very, very tall. It's a famous place, right? It's a... Oh yeah, mm. and this is in Aonoi, Prachua Kirikan. Aonoi, Prachua Kirikan, that's where we are. I know for a fact there are a couple of monks around here. And over there we have a, a cave. Famous cave. Yeah, try this one. Are we allowed to do this, Eric? Is this okay? Yeah, it's okay. That's cute. Cool. Are you ready? Yeah. One more? Yeah. One more to go.
the green color means something, the red color means something, but we're not sure exactly why, but everything here has a meaning. And Eric, you have something in, in common with these uh, animals, don't you? Yeah. You, some people think that you might be a dinosaur. Yeah, you don't have genitals. You don't have genitals, right? Yeah. If you can take a better look, you see that uh, these animals don't have any yeah. genitals, actually. But how do they? That's interesting. I didn't know that they about. Do any poo because yeah. oh, this might be the one. The poo. Yeah. I wouldn't like to be. Yeah, I wouldn't like to be yeah. under there. Barum, you know. But yeah. Yeah. But uh, Eric, this place is not a success. No. There's supposed to be a lot of tourists coming here, but... It's a big flop. It's a big flop. It didn't work out. The entire area, very few tourists come here and... Because it's, uh, it's a place of, of great beauty. Yeah, it's, it's a nice place. Should be tourists yeah. here. The problem is the sea. You know, the sea is very... The waves are always pounding and there's a very strong undertow here. Yeah, very strong sea strong here. Yeah. And Thai people, they are not very good swimmers, you know? Yeah. yeah. So it's not popular among the Thais and no, never took off among the foreigners either, so... An open door. Eric, what's inside here? An open door. You need to oh, take, yeah. a, take a look, see what's here. It's an office. Yeah. Welcome to Vaghor. That's where all the people used to gather, you know? As a gathering location. Used to be hundreds of people here. And then they all left. Live music, tie dancing, everything. Stage here. Yeah, stage. This is where Eric met all the. Uh, met a lot of people back in the day. Yeah, yeah. All the naked girls. All the girls met here. Uh, it's, did something wrong here as so the security came and. So here we have a here we have a windmill up there. Yeah, but it's all overgrown by, by growth and, and like from a tree, you know. Yeah, but I still think it's much uh, better looking than the new ones, right? Yeah. It doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. That's the way it should be, and uh, it looks. A lot of bird life around here because of the water and, and yeah. the mine. There are marshland over there. Look. Lots of birds around here, and they don't like windmills, so it's a good thing it doesn't work. And uh, here's the end of the road, and uh, we can see they're building something else here. They always build more stuff here in uh, Thailand. That's, that's a flyover across the, the railway, you see? Uh, it's uh, crossing the railway over there, yeah, it's a bridge. It's a bridge and as you can see, the, there is some kind of a road on the other side, you know, and, and it's, uh, it's uh, a real road, you know, that we can't get down to it. Yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna look, go down and see if we can come. Down. And they're always building new roads in Thailand, developing the country, right? Oh, yeah, they develop the Watch out for snakes, Eric. I will, I will. No, there's no way you can get a car. No, it, it used to be a bridge here, let's take it away. Yeah. Because there used to be a bridge here, and you can see there's a road on the other side. It's a little strange that the, the road just ends like this, but that's quite common here in Thailand. They just want to stop the traffic. Yeah, suddenly they have run out of money and they can't continue the road and something happened. But at least they're always building something, so... I hear they're building a new railroad station. 
constantly building things here in, in Thailand. Things are improving here in Thailand, Eric. They're building new things all the time. The old rails are too narrow, so they're yeah. building a new railroad the system. These ones are uh, adapted to the Japanese trains I got for free ah. from Japan. Get some uh, new trains from Japan and the new system. Don't get any new ones from Japan, they got the old ones from Japan. Oh, they got the old ones from Japan. Now they have to get new ones. Yeah, they're getting new ones from somewhere else. And here we have a, a normal temple, nothing special according to Eric, but it's just uh, just another temple that you see everywhere. I still think it's kind of uh, neat, but uh, as you can see, not many people come here and it's not considered something special, but another temple in the Prachirapakura, Kiri County area. So Eric, this is a temple that you actually like, not like the one we saw earlier today. This is something special, right? Uh, it's a huge, a huge temple and very colorful. Doesn't look like it's open, so I can't get in there, but another time. Eric, yeah. why are you wearing a helmet? Because of the military, you know? The military, oh, we're going inside an Air Force base and you need to use the helmet, right? Some people are asking me, what are you doing in Thailand, Simon? Why are you not at home, at work? And it's a really easy explanation for that and kind of sad as well. And that's the fact that I have become a climate refugee. You might have heard about the, in the media about the climate crisis. And uh, one of the worst places is northern Norway. It's really hit hard by the climate crisis. Horrible weather, really cold, storms, snowstorms, and it's not good. So a lot of people are choosing to go to, to countries like this, Thailand. It's a, it's a sad situation, and hopefully the politicians are going to fix the problem within uh, months, years, so I can return to, to Norway. You need to pay some more taxes and things like that, you know, to maybe if more people can just drive their electric cars, might fix the problem with the climate. I have a lot of faith in, uh, in people and in the politicians to fix it. But in the meantime, I'm trying to make the best of the situation. And uh, it was a hard decision to make to come here. And there's a lot of paperwork that I have to to do, you know, and uh, I'll take the paperwork and go to the, the Thai authorities and try to, to to get the asylum in order so I can stay here forever, but at least until it's solved, the problem is solved, it might be solved. Anyway, that's the story, that's the reason I'm here. So, hopefully things will improve in the future and I might return to, to Norway.